It's like magic. You just flip a switch and a light comes on. Where does the magic we call electricity originate? Most electricity comes from what we refer to as thermal power plants. These plants use fuel, whether coal, oil, natural gas, or nuclear fuel, to heat water, make steam, and spin turbines. But did you know that the Army Corps of Engineers is generating electricity in a different way where we fish, swim, and boat? The Corps uses rainwater for fuel. It's called hydroelectricity. The Corps is the nation's largest producer of hydroelectricity. Its 75 power plants comprise 25% of the nation's hydropower capacity. And the Corps produces 3% of the nation's total electrical power. The Corps' Little Rock District operates seven of these plants in Arkansas and Missouri. This one is near Ozark, Arkansas, on the Arkansas River. The same water that generates electricity at Ozark flows into Lake Dardanelle, where it generates electricity all over again. Talk about renewable energy. Did you know the Russellville Project Office has two hydropower plants and they can support 168,000 homes every month with power? One advantage of most hydropower plants is that when more power is needed at peak times, these plants can be turned on in minutes to help meet the demand and then can be turned off as the demand wanes. When they are not running, the water is simply stored in the lake until needed. Hydropower burns no fuel, so it produces no greenhouse gases. The water coming out of the dam is as clean as the water flowing in. How does it work? It's as simple as rainwater flowing downstream. By properly placing a turbine within this flow, we capture the energy and turn it into electricity. Notice the tube directing the water down to the turbine blades. Very little is seen on the top level of the football field sized generating room. But down below at Dardanelle Powerhouse, all four generators can be operational within minutes with an output capacity of 160 million watts of power. The amount of water is governed by vanes that open and close. As the turbine blades rotate, they spin a shaft that is connected to the rotor within the generator. The magic happens when the spinning rotor's magnets interact with the stationary magnet, producing electricity. The shaft can spin up to 72 revolutions per minute. The turbulent water exits the plant and flows into the river. Many anglers believe this area is an excellent spot to catch the big ones. Hydropower is working hard making renewable, clean, and inexpensive power available when you need it. Now you know.